Right, so I'm going to show you how you can generate a thousand plus articles with AI and auto publish them to your own blog on autopilot. So you click a button like so, the articles get generated, right? A bunch of articles generated, and then they get automatically posted to your blog on autopilot without you having to do anything. Now, before I show you how to do that, quick disclaimer with SEO, with like anything, when you automate stuff, the people that are going to win because if you can automate stuff, anyone can automate stuff, right? So if I can generate articles for SEO purposes and post them on my affiliate blog, whatever blog it is, anyone can do it as well. So this means that the barrier to entry is going to be higher. So the articles that are going to rank on Google aren't the ones that you can just click a button and have them rank. It are the ones, the ones that are going to rank on Google are, of course, the ones that have people putting the extra effort in them. And I have a video solely on this, but it's called... Um, human effort. It's a, I guess, a ranking factor by Google, right? And this is just to say, this is a full disclaimer that yes, you can generate thousands of articles with AI, quality articles with informative content, right? Google can rank them because Google doesn't really care who writes the articles or what writes the articles as long as it is valuable to its users, right? So there's nothing wrong with AI content as long as it's valuable. Now, like I said, because anyone can just click a button and have thousands, and I'll show you in a second, of articles generated and published to their niche sites, the barrier to enter is going to be a bit higher. And this means that the articles that are going to rank higher, right, are the ones that have human effort put into them. And I won't speak about that in this video, but I'll leave a link in the description for that video because it is very important. Now, with that out of the way, let me show you exactly how you can generate thousands of articles, quality articles with images, uh, I guess, quote unquote, SEO optimized uh, for your blog. So first things first is you go to journalist.cafe and let's go over it right now. So Let's say my business URL is let's do vetted.com, right? And what is vetted? Vetted is a SEO marketplace where business owners and agencies can outsource their SEO efforts, right? That's what vetted is. So here we're just going to just essentially typing out what the business is about, which is this one right here. Um, it allows its users to purchase SEO services, gigs, or productized services, or invest in an SEO's expert's time via booking platform integrated consulting calls. It's a bit all over the place, but you get the point, right? And I'm going to generate five articles and let's do enrich images and let's do English, of course, but I could do any single language. So if you have sites in Spanish, in Portuguese, in Greek, whatever, because uh, uh, another thing it's important to say is that the other Googles, right? The Portuguese Google, Spanish Google are much less competitive or the German Google are much less competitive than the English one. Meaning that AI content here ranks better because there's less competition, right? While on the English Google, everyone nowadays is doing AI content and the people and the articles that are going to stand out are the ones that have the human touch, right? Which I won't go over in this video, but on all these other Googles, competi competition is much less, right? Because there less, there's less people speaking Romanian, for example. That being said, you can also, you can capture a, from the whole pie, you can capture a bigger size for example, if you go to the Romanian Google, then on the English Google where you can just capture a single slice because there's a bunch of competition, right? So it's pretty interesting as well. Now we're going to do five, but you can do 20 as many times as you want. So you can just generate thousands of articles every single click just to generate. Now, this is the first uh, step here. The first step is the generation, right? I'm doing this manually, but I'll and then I'm going to show you how to do it automatically, right? Having the articles being generated every single day or every single hour or every single minute and then auto publishing them to your blog. So let's just wait for this to load here so we can take a look at the samples. Okay, so we have the first one right here with a table of contents, pretty cool. All this text with images in it. So in, in article images with a call to action, this one has had a call to action. We can change this image if we want. Let's do this, check the second one here. Uh, it has uh, that .com right here. So yeah, th these are the articles essentially, right? Table of contents, all of them fall more or less the same. Uh, layout this one has a call to action to the website right so these are our articles so now essentially with a click of a button you can just copy all this and post it to wordpress right and you can keep on going here and generating articles over and over again if you go here to my history of articles 
you're going to see a bunch of ones that I generated, right? For the most varied variation of niches, right? Chiropractors here, uh, directories, making money online. Uh, what else? Uh, Lisbon or Portugal, digital nomads, cities, furniture. I mean, the list goes on and on. You can do a lot of stuff with this. So again, if you want to generate more and more, this could be done in like minutes, right? A hundred thousand in, in simple minutes. Now, what I want to go over is how do you take the articles you generated, right? The ones right here. And how do you automatically publish them to your uh, blog? Because that's, I mean, you, you want to automate the process as much as we can. What you do is you go here, integrations in our blog, and let's connect the domain. Let's do this one right here. And let's do authorize. This, of course, is going to prompt us to open here WordPress. Yes, so I approve this connection right here. And it's done. Your integration has now been completed. So now, journalist, this little software is connected with my WordPress. So all the articles that I'm generating here manually, right, I can just go here click view and then choose the site of course and then click post to WordPress right if I click this button on any of these articles they're gonna be posted to WordPress automatically so now I don't have to like copy and paste all this and post it there I can just click a button and I'm gonna show you how post to WordPress and now this article is gonna be posted to WordPress in just a second right so it's been published to WordPress so if I go to the website right here I need to go to the back end real quick it's gonna, sh gonna show you that it is in fact there so you just go to post right here. The article was on how to choose the right SEO service for your business. This was what the one was posted. As you can see here, it is in draft form because we want you to be able to um, edit it if you want to, but then we can just go here and just publish it ourselves. Now, how would you go about making this even more automated, right? So we started with the article generation, which yeah, you could just copy this, go to WordPress, create a post and, po and paste this in there. Then we, want, we wanted to automate it even a bit more, which was by connecting it to WordPress. So now with the push of a button, you can publish it to WordPress. But now the third level is having them being created automatically and posted automatically to WordPress over and over again. And the way you do this is you click here again, you go to manage, and you turn on this setting here called autoblog, which should be showing up here in the second, this one right here, right? now. You on this one is pretty straightforward. You can choose the languages to English. You can choose how many posts you want it to post a day. So if you do 20, that's 600 posts every single month on autopilot. And you can choose the, the status in which the post is published before it was draft. Now you can publish it. So the articles will be automatically published to the site. Uh, you can do private, depending on all these. Uh, and then the niche, of course, you just have to copy and paste what we wrote before. And if I update here, every single day, one article is going to be posted. Sorry, one article is going to be generated and posted. If we do 20, every single day, 20 articles are going to be generated and posted to this website right here, just like this one. Articles just like the ones you saw here, right? All these ones on autopilot with images, table of contents, call to actions at the end to your own site in your own niche to your WordPress site. So this means that you can essentially automate all of your content both creation and publishing aspect of things. Now, again, like I said before, we are in an economy where anyone can essentially click a button and have this done for them, right? Journalist, this software allows you to do that. Now, because you can do it, other people can do it as well, right? Now, two things here. First thing is, first one is if you're doing it in the English Google, it's much more competitive and most likely you cannot just use this article. I mean, the articles can and do rank, right? But at the end of the day, in a couple of months' time, because anyone can do this, the ones that are going to rank higher and the ones that are going to be most, most valuable in Google's eyes are the ones that have the human uh, effort into them, right? And I have a video on this again. I'll link it in the description because, and I keep mentioning this because it's very, very important, right? Having the human touch in articles and, I mean, having, for example, an opinion piece, the person who wrote it with this, their socials, right? Having some sort of human touch is something Google values and it is in Google's uh, content guidelines. So that's why I'm saying all this. Second thing is if you're using this for different niches, uh, let's do international, right? So non English speaking countries. Uh, all the countries in Europe, Portugal in Portuguese, Greece in Greek, Spanish in Spain. So all these different Google, right? Google dot uh, PT dot uh, BR, even Brazilian um, dot DE, uh, German, Germany, sorry. Um, all of these ones, because there's much less competition, right? There's much more opportunity here. And for affiliate sites, for affiliate marketers, this is really big because you can essentially automate all your content efforts, right? You can fire your copywriter and have this do, do it automatically for you every single day. 
with just a click of a button, just one time, you click the button one time, it does 20 articles every single day in your niche and it publishes them automatically to your WordPress site. So it's pretty cool uh, that you can do this uh, nowadays. Again, I want to be clear that you cannot do SEO like this. I mean, yes, you can reach a level, right? So if we do a ladder of, I guess, levels of success in SEO, you don't start here at the bottom, right? Maybe you start right here, right? But you want to be here. And to reach here, there's a lot of stuff you need to do as well, right? Because SEO isn't just about content, just like SEO isn't just about links or technical SEO. So you cannot just publish content to a site and hope that it's going to rank for everything, right? You got to do some technical optimizations. You got to do some off-page optimizations. And furthermore, in more competitive markets, like, market, sorry, like the US, you just publishing content like this most likely won't work in the long term. You got to add some human touch to it. You can do it, however, in lower competitive markets, just like in the international markets, of course. But it's important to mention, of course, because nowadays anyone can just go to a journalist, click a button and post out this content, that the barrier to entry is much, much lower. So the effort that you have to put in after you do the content generation with this button is going to be much higher, right? And I'm hammering this point home because I think it's very, very important because I don't want to come across as the person that tells you that, yeah, you click a button and you rank number one. Not at all. It's not that at all. But this tool helps you not start from zero, right? Journalist helps you start from a bit above what everyone else, right? Because not everyone else knows about this. And there's a bunch of untapped markets in the international markets. And even in the US, there's a bunch of untapped markets. That's it. Pretty cool. Long video. Hope you like it. Like it. Sorry. I'll leave a link for this tool in the description if you want to try it out. You can do so for free. We don't charge like the first ones you can try for free. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.